Hey everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about mediation and regression using JASP. And keep in mind that mediation uh, is an advanced procedure where we want to see how a variable influences the relationship between uh, the predictor and the criterion. That usually we'll see a relationship between the predictor and the criterion. The mediator variable kind of tells us the why. It tells us how this relationship uh, occurs. You know, what, what is an important intervening variable that affects the relationship between these two variables? So we refer to that as, as influence. Um, so uh, I'm going to take you through a real data set here uh, from some of my work on forgiveness. Uh, this is 197 participants, all of them African American. Um, and we're going to be looking at uh, the relationship of their beliefs about forgiveness called the exploration phase and the extent to which they choose to reconcile with somebody who has caused them harm, an offender. And so uh, you know, the first thing I want to do is I want to note that there is a relationship between the predictor variable of exploration and the outcome variable about the extent to which they may or may not reconcile. And uh, I see that there is a statistically significant relationship um, uh, between uh, uh, exploration and outcome. F of 1, 195 uh, equals 120.53. P is less than 0 0.001, accounting for approximately 38% of the variance of the model, a large effect. So, and we can see here, I standardized all these variables, by the way, which is why the unstandardized coefficient and standardized coefficient are the same. These are all z-scores. Uh, and so, uh, um, you can see that the amount of change uh, in the predictor, uh, when, uh, for every point, almost 0.62 standard deviation units of change in the predictor relates to a unit of change in the criteria. Uh, and so, now, um, we also want to see, uh, you know, if there's a, a significant, you know, you know how, how a mediator plays in the role uh, of this. And so um, a mediator is a, uh, uh, in this model, is I'm going to look at the remorse and change of the offender. In other words, does, you know, you know that, that given how, uh, given the feelings that, that, that a victim has toward an offender and toward reconciliation, does the extent to which the offender offers remorse and changes behavior, does that fit into this prediction model? Does that mediate the relationship between exploration and uh, outcome? And so in order for that to happen, there has to be a, uh, uh, there has to be a, uh, um, uh, a relationship between the predictor and the mediator. So, um, I'm going to uh, put in my uh, predictor variable uh, as the outcome variable and the mediator um, as uh, the uh, um, uh, uh, as as the predictor. So uh, what you see here. Uh, again, is that there is a statistically significant relationship between the predictor and the mediator. There should also be a statistically significant relationship between the mediator and the outcome variable. And so, uh, once again, I can go down here and I can put in my outcome variable and I can put in my mediator. And I can also see that uh, changes, uh, that, that, that significant relationship as well. Okay, so this is a statistically significant relationship between my predictor and my outcome variable, my criterion, my mediator and my predictor, and my mediator and my outcome variable. Now, let's take a look at uh, whether or not there's a statistically significant mediation effect. All right, so what I can do here is I can take, a, I can go to linear regression and I can put in, you know, once again, 
my outcome variable here, my predictor, and my mediator. And if you look here, you can see uh, again that uh, there is a statistically significant relationship accounting for 54% of the variance, 53.6. But look at what's happened to the relationship between exploration and the outcome variable. So notice that initially we had this 38% of the variance accounted for and you know, 0.62 standard deviation units of change and the predictor variable. And now it's reduced, once we've added the mediator in, it's reduced, all right, to about 0.28 standard deviation units, all right? And so what we can say is that, the, you know, uh, we're gonna call this the direct effect. This is gonna be the direct effect. And we can take the direct effect and subtract it from the initial, from, from the total effect, which was up here, 0.618. And if we go 0.618 minus 0.218, we get a direct effect of about 0.4, all right? And that becomes, um, I'm sorry, that should have been 0.278. Let me try that again. Point, uh, what was it, 0.618 minus 0.278 right here, yeah. And that's 0.34. So that 0.34 becomes our indirect effect. Um, and you're like, well, do I really have to do this math? Actually, you don't. JASP can do this for you, but now you see where the numbers come from. So what we're gonna do here is, uh, let me just enlarge this a little bit so uh, we, we can see the commands that we use. We're gonna go to this SEM command right here, this SEM function and choose mediation analysis. And you know our predictor is gonna be exploration. Our mediator is gonna be change. And our outcome variable is gonna be called outcome. And we're gonna ask for standardized estimates. We can ask for bootstrapping. That's usually a pretty standard uh, process here. And we can also ask for a model plot with parameter estimates. So let's take a look at what we have here. We'll have to be patient for a moment while uh, JASP thinks about this. You can see it working right here. And, uh, you know, keep in mind, I'm on a high-end computer here, great internet function, but uh, alas, uh, sometimes uh, things take time. You know, good things take time. Uh, had I not asked for the bootstrap analysis, it would have been up like that. But I asked for a bootstrap analysis. So this requires some thought from JASP. Um, you know, things that you can do during this time, you could twiddle your thumbs. You know, um, you know, I like to just stare at the blue line. It's about as exciting, maybe even more exciting than watching water boil. Oh, here it comes. I'm, I'm pretty excited and uh, uh, to talk about these results with you. And, uh, and, and here we are, boom. Well, there we are. So let's review some things. Total effect, 0.618, remember that value? All right, that was our uh, uh, total uh, contri uh, contribution between exploration and outcomes, about 0.62 standard deviation units of change. And 0.278, remember that one? That's when we threw in the mediator variable along with the predictor variable, and it reduced the uh, effect of our predictor variable of exploration, because what's really happening 
is a result of this remorse and change. And you can see that 0.34 that was, you know, so 0.618 minus 0.278 was 0.34, which is a significant mediation. What we say is this is a partial mediation. A full mediation would mean that this would have gone down to zero and would have been non-significant. But because it's still significant and it was just reduced, we call it a partial mediation. So the extent to which an offender expresses remorse and changes behavior partially mediates the relationship between exploration and outcome. And we can see those values here as well. So, uh, um, uh, and, 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 and how this is happening. Uh, this 0 0.52, the, you know, if you wanna know where did that value come from, you know, uh, that seemed like a, a new one. If we look back up top uh, at our uh, regression with our predictor and our uh, um, criterion, ah, there's that 0 0.52 right there. So uh, that's where that value uh, is coming from. So, uh, nice little model that you could use to uh, show the mediation and then you can copy and paste that into uh, your report. So that's a mediation analysis in JASP. Uh, I hope that was helpful and let me know uh, what you think.